Roller Coaster Tycoon holds a special place in my heart for being a game that I spent a lot of time playing when I was growing up. In fact, I played a lot of different Tycoon games, ranging in complexity from stuff like Lemonade Tycoon that I played in school when I was supposed to be doing my uh, success maker courses. And then of course I played these super super complex ones like uh, Sim City. come on everybody remembers Sim City. And right in the middle of the spectrum is my favorite Tycoon game and arguably one of my favorite games in general of all time. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I played the first one a little bit, and I spent a decent amount of time in the third, but I would say that 99% of my time in this series was spent on Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I mean, bro, this game came out in 2002, and I probably played it until 2012, maybe eh, not that long. But I can guarantee you that I played it until at least 2010, at the very minimum, because that's when I got into Minecraft. But the point is, I haven't touched this game since then, so it's been probably about 10 years since the last time I've played Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, which is kinda crazy. So I figured what better time to go back and revisit a classic game than right now, because I, uh, I'm spending a lot of time in the house, and uh, I live in Orlando, and I can't visit all the theme parks, so I figure, you know what, I might as well build my own. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video, where we go back and revisit Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 in 2020 to see how well it holds up. It's time to put on our rose-colored glasses and dive right into this video. When I loaded up the game for the first time, I was hit with an overwhelming wave of nostalgia. Seriously, just listen to this intro and think of how many memories it brings back. I mean, the intro alone is crazy, but then you have the home screen with the music and the people walking around and the four little buttons at the bottom. Oh my god, dude, I'm in nostalgia heaven right now. So with this game, you can take over parks and your goal is to reach specific criteria to like boost the park up or, you know, get more guests or make more money. And as soon as you hit that criteria, you win the challenge and you can either continue with your park or go to a new one. Taking a look at the different scenarios, I remember that there's beginner, challenging, expert, real, and other. Um, I probably have played through most of these, but I can almost guarantee you that most of my time was spent in the beginner parks. You see, I may have been a roller coaster enthusiast growing up, but I was also a young kid, so I did not have the IQ to uh, get into the challenging parks. And with this version, I do have the DLC, but I decided to go with the classic Electric Fields. I remember back when I used to have this game, I did not have the DLC, and the only three beginner parks that I had access to were Crazy Castle, Electric Field, and Factory Capers. Crazy Castle was okay, but it was kinda small, Factory Capers was weird because it was all like raised up and stuff, and Electric Fields, oh yeah baby, that's where I spent all of my time. Well, not all of my time, you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. So I decided to go with electric fields and hit the crazy objective of having at least 700 guests in my park. Pff, come on bro, that's gonna be so easy, I could complete this in no time. I started with $10,000, so I spent the first amount building a pirate ship ride. Because what's a trash theme park without a pirate ship ride? Come on bro, everybody knows if you have a garbage theme park, it has to have one of these. So I threw that baby down and made it look all nice and then it was time to keep expanding. We had an aggressive growth strategy, so I wasn't going to waste any time whatsoever. I was going to reinvest in myself and make an amazing theme park. So we decided to turn up the excitement and go right into roller coaster construction. You know, I'm the CEO of roller coaster construction, so you can guarantee that we're going to have an amazing roller coaster right from the start. We're going to make people want to come to this theme park and experience something truly epic. So I started building the first one, and it was a mining themed roller coaster, kind of like a minecart type seven dwarves type thing. Eventually it turned out pretty good, I finished the loop and set up the queue lines quickly to realize that, well, we were almost out of money. Our initial $10,000 has not lasted very long, and we're now down to a mere few hundred dollars. But I mean it's roller coaster tycoon bro, let's just take out a giant loan that we're never gonna repay, I mean, it's not like we have financial responsibilities or anything. So I upped that baby up to 25,000. You bet we're gonna take out the biggest loan possible. At this point, we had around 100 guests in our park, so I built some bumper cars, built an information stand, and went back to check on our roller coaster. But even with 100 and something people in the park, nobody was on it, bro. Why were people not riding this awesome roller coaster that I just spent so much time building? And then it hit me. Search engine optimization. 
Nobody's gonna ride a roller coaster if they don't know about it. In fact, nobody's gonna even come to the park unless they know about the rides. We need to optimize our search engines to make sure people want to come through and actually check us out. So I went through and put all the keywords possible in every single ride. The pirate ship was now pirates pirate pirate ship pirate ride. Of course, that would hit all the tags and somebody would be bound to find it. And of course, the epic mine roller coaster is now mine mining minor Minecraft mining, bro. Come on, somebody's bound to search for at least one of those words. I could easily see our park hitting 5,000 guests within the next 20 minutes. I waited about 20 more minutes and we were at 265 guests. But guess what? None of them wanted to ride my gosh darn roller coaster. Oh yeah, we'll go queue for the freaking merry-go-round in the bumper cars, but no, we don't want to ride the super cool roller coaster that you had to go $25,000 into debt for. So I built a wooden roller coaster. Now if you tell me that this thing doesn't look exciting, well then you're a psychopath because this looks like the coolest freaking wooden roller coaster on earth. I mean come on, just watch this test run dude, look how cool this is. It puts our old roller coaster to shame, and I can guarantee you that this one is going to attract a lot of people. Obviously, we had to wait on the news to spread that we just built a new roller coaster, so I did what every single person has to do at some point in Roller Coaster Tycoon, and I made a pin of shame. What's the pin of shame, you may ask? Well, that's where I pick up people with my giant tweezers and just throw them in there for no reason. Come on, that's like rule number one of Roller Coaster Tycoon. You have to trap your stupid guests where they can spend more money at your park. So once I was done building this, I went back over to the new wooden roller coaster and there was still nobody on it. I had to do some investigating, so I looked into it and turns out that it gives off 5 Gs and uh, the intensity rating is 16.47. Ultra extreme. <laughs> I mean, according to Google, uh, if you hit 5 Gs, uh, you could lose consciousness, but like, I really don't see what's stopping people from riding this. Oh wait, yeah I do, it's the fact that everybody in this freaking park is super boring. They'd rather ride the ferris wheel and the slide than the, the coolest roller coaster on earth. You know what guys, I will pander to you, so here you go, here's the most boring hedge maze on earth, you just go through it, follow a straight line and get out. I bet everybody will love this one. Oh would you look at that, now I have negative money because nobody wants to ride the cool stuff and they'd rather spend their time in the infinite spiral maze. Great, now we gotta start destroying stuff. And I have this loan to repay, so guess what guys, all your rides are now gone because I have to sell them back to the bank. This could have been avoided if you just rode the roller coaster. And you know what, I hope you like those pathways buddy because those have to go too. I'm in debt man, I can't do anything about it. I mean look at you guys running around like little ants because you can't find the pathways. I don't need people like you in my park anyways. Calm down, calm down, I know you want some pathways so here you go. I'll, uh, I'll make one right here with everything you need to buy in one place. Our entire park is now a pathway with a bathroom, a burger stand, a hat store, a balloon store, a drink store, basically everything you want to spend money on. Um, we're not going to have any rides whatsoever, but we do have this sick bridge. If you ever get bored of uh, walking around spending your money, you could always go stand on the bridge. Just kidding, you have to go spend your money now because the bridge is gone and I just killed like 20 people. I don't think we're ever going to beat this scenario. I mean, look at our rating, it's gone down to a bare minimum. So I consulted with myself in the back of my mind, and I thought of something. Remember earlier how I said I didn't spend all of my time on the beginner scenarios, and that I sometimes did other things? I sure did, and when I was on the menu, I happened to remember what it was. Please tell me I wasn't the only one who would open up the tutorial, go in the big empty giant park, and then cancel the tutorial. You see, now I had a free open space, where I can do pretty much anything I wanted, and a loan limit of $100,000. For real though, leave a comment, I couldn't be the only person who did this in the game, and this is probably where I spent a majority of my time. But I'll prove to the haters that I know what I'm doing. You may not have liked my old park, but I promise you, this one is going to be amazing. Step number one, we're going to create a jungle themed area. So I'm going to branch the path off like this and build some go-karts and a water ride and throw in a bunch of jungle and dinosaur scenery for everybody to check it out. Now that's a good looking park. Oh, but don't worry, I'm not stopping there, baby. We're throwing up that observation tower, more scenery, a spiral hedge maze, a lemonade stand, and all sorts of cool stuff to make our jungle area have some serious charm, including a prefabricated roller coaster that is not going to kill you. You like that? Well guess what, that's not it. On the other side, we expand with a whimsical, creepy, futuristic type theme. On this side, we have crazy rides like the upside down uh, swinging inverter ship 1, 
the exciting spiral rings, the amazing crooked house, and much, much more. At this point, we were already at almost 500 guests, bro. I mean, this is already way better than our previous endeavor. So, I was going to continue my strategy of rapid expansion. We needed something big, something that would sell this place to everybody who sees it online. It was now time to build my first custom roller coaster. I know everyone's going to ride this one because I'm going to spend a large, e extremely large, uh, actually somewhat unreasonable amount of time on it. And I promise you, it will pay off. And I'm going to plop it right in the middle of Rome Land, our most ambitious theming project to date. We got a double loop, we're over the water, we got all these twists and turns, and I promise you, everybody on planet Earth is going to ride this roller coaster. Alright, maybe a little bit too extreme. Alright, we'll connect this here, change this, kind of fix this up. And it looks like the intensity rating is 13.78. This is still ultra extreme. I know one thing, the guests who show up to your parks in this game have to be the most boring people on planet Earth. Well, guess we're gonna have to throw them all in the lake. But guys, I do have to say that revisiting this game was a ton of fun. It holds up really well, and I could easily see myself investing hours and hours into it. So, I'm actually gonna do that. And if you ever played this in the past, or even if you didn't, I think you should too, because it's a very fun game, and it's a very nostalgic experience. So, the consensus is, yes, it absolutely does hold up, and yes, it's still an amazing game, even in 2020. You know what else is amazing? Listening to high quality audio for a very reasonable price. That's why I'm about to recommend to you the greatest wireless earbuds ever invented, and today's sponsor, Raycon. So what are Raycons? They're a brand of wireless earbuds that actually deliver on what they promise and make you feel good about yourself and your bank balance. They start at about half the price of other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and they sound better than the more expensive options. I've been using mine lately when jogging around my neighborhood and working out, and I have to say that they're now my first choice for wireless earbuds. They're great for procrastinating when you're supposed to be working from home, curling some 10-pound dumbbells at the gym, and listening to Fergie at 3am without waking up your roommates. Their everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet, with 6 hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, amazing colors, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise-isolating fit. Click the link in the description below or visit buyraycon.com slash robocast to get 15% off your order. It supports the channel and allows you to get a sick product for an even better price. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for today's video, so I hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to continue to work on this park and I'm going to be posting a showcase over on my Patreon. So if you want to see what the park looks like whenever it's done, go and check that out. It supports the channel and there's a lot of other cool stuff on there, such as archive live streams and other types of content like that. So if you're interested, please check it out. There will be a link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you next time and peace.